everyone. This is Pastor Paul Graham, a senior pastor of Restoration Praise Center, and I'm your host on Bible Boot Camp. I want to say to each one of you, good morning, good morning. Wake up and stretch your spiritual muscles and know that God is ever present with us this morning. We are now in our fourth day of Bible Boot Camp. We are in our fourth day of Bible Boot Camp. And because we're in our fourth day of Bible Boot Camp, we're excited to be alive, to be well, to just be in the land of the living. There's so many of us who did not make it just to wake up in the morning, yet God has given us this opportunity to be up, alive, and well. So now that you're up, now that you're awake, we express to each one of you that now is the time to give God your life, your time, and to especially say, God, I wanna start again with you. And this is why we've been talking about new beginnings. Starting all over again, Periscope, starting all over again, simply saying, I want to have a new beginning with Jesus Christ. And so this morning, we welcome you to our fourth day of Bible Boot Camp. And so this morning, we pray and hope that this is the day that God has given you that you will walk humbly with him. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Bow your heads with me as we look to him who's the author and finisher of our faith. Father, again, we come before you, first of all, thanking you for life, strength, and this opportunity of being up, awake, alive, and well. And we're asking now that your Holy Spirit will be with us and bless us this very morning as we look to follow you in a humble fashion. We're asking now that whatever is said and done will be pleasing to you, and that somebody that's listening, someone who may hear this, will say, God, thank you for the opportunity of starting again. Bless us, I ask in Jesus' name, amen. And so this morning we have this wonderful, wonderful opportunity of starting over with Christ, a new beginning. You know, a lot of us may be saying to, to ourselves, well, Pastor, how, how do I start all over again? Well, the truth is we start all over again by simply saying, let's put the stuff in the past and let's start by saying, God, you got it. It's all about you. It's all about you in my life. But, you know, when you start walking with God, you start caring for others. You start thinking of others. And I want to share this video with you, something that will help you recognize that it's all about giving yourself over to God. I'm talking about full action, full help for other people. That is not about you anymore. It's all about others. Let's look at this together.
I think what an awesome video that when you're humble enough to help someone, that you never know what God is going to do for you later on. I think it's absolutely amazing that when you put your hand uh, in God's hands, he gives each one of us the opportunity to, uh, the opportunity to help others. And so in this, when I watched that video, I recognized that you may help someone today and that person may turn around or someone else may turn around and help you later on. I believe and know that God is the kind of God that wants us to start over by being humble this year, by saying, I'm going to start over by helping someone else, by being that catalyst for someone else, by having a new beginning to the extent that it helps others to have a new beginning. And that's, I, that's what I believe that God wants from each one of us, to help others have a new beginning. You know, when I think about being humble enough to walk with God, I think of the very fact that there are characters in me, or there may be characters in you or something in you where you have to have to say, what is it that I need to change that's going to help someone else make it? What is it that I need to change? What are the character flaws that I need to be humble enough to say I can walk worthy with God? Well, I need you to know that God is expecting each one of us to dig deep inside because when you change, you have to know what you're changing about. You got to know what the issues are. And in order to do that, you got to look deep enough to say, I've got to uh, find my, my character flaws or recognize what they may be and simply say, God, help me so that I may help you by being the person I need to be in this world. I want to share another song with you. A beautiful song by um, by a gentleman who is just absolutely awesome. One of my friends in New York who sings a song called Higher Ground. One of these hymns that really takes us to another level. And I, and I share this song with you because if we're going to have new beginning, a new beginning, we ought to ask God to take us to a higher ground. I beg of you now that as we listen to this song, let's be mindful that God wants each of us to move to higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way New heights I'm gaining every day Still praying as I'm onward bound Lord, plant my feet on higher My heart has no desire to stay Where doubts arise and fears dismay Though some may dwell where these abound My prayer, my aim is higher ground Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table and a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to live above the world Though Satan's darts at me are hurled For faith has caught a joyful sound The song of saints on higher ground Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my
God to plant our feet on higher ground. I want to share this word with you. It's this word that I learned years ago. You know, when I used to go to my uncle's house as a kid, and I would be driving down this street in New York, and right before we made the turn before this larger street to his house, there used to be a church, and on this church, it had um, a writing right on the wall, and it came from Micah chapter six, verse eight. It, used, it, it, it was a text that said, do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with thy God. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. It said, do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with thy God. You know, when I saw that, I, I, I used to say to myself, well, where does that come from? And when I looked at this text, it helped me to understand that when, Christ, when, when, when God read, wrote this for us, he said, oh man, there's only one thing that I require of thee. And it's beautiful because what God is saying that I require of thee to do this. All I need for you to do is to do justly, love mercy, okay, and walk humbly with your God. And I asked myself the question, do I walk humbly with him? Do I walk the way he wants me to walk? Do I act the way he wants me to act? And as I look at this, I recognize that what God is looking for is individuals who are willing to walk humbly. So how do I act justly? How do I do justly? How do I act in a merciful way? How do I love? How, how am I humble? It is by living the life that God wants us to live. It's by being the Christians he wants us to be. It's by simply saying, God, I want to live this life, not the life that I lived before, but the life that I can live now. And so when we talk about walking humbly with him, we talk about changing our walk, changing our talk, changing our life, changing our mindset. Because a new beginning can't be you being who you are, it's being who Christ wants you to be. You know, time after time, I, I, I think about walking humbly, doing justly. And this is how I, I believe is broken down. Number one, do justly. Always be willing and able, always be willing and able to stand up for someone, just like in that video, to take care of someone else, to, to recognize that if something, you, if you see that there's something wrong or hurtful with someone, be able to stand for that person. Love mercy. You know, some people are not merciful. As long as it's not happening to me, then it doesn't matter at all. And God is saying to each one of us that we've got to be the kind of individuals that are thinking, that's thinking about the other person, being merciful to the other person, being able to not walk by someone and say, hey, you know what? That's not my life, so I'm not worried about that. God wants us to love mercy. And then to walk humbly with our God is to be able to recognize that life is not about us. It's all about God. If you're going to walk new with God, if we're going to walk circumspect with God, if we're going to walk humbly with him, we've got to realize that he's in control and we're not. 
to, to, to have a new beginning is saying, God, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to let you be the God of my life. I'm not going to be the one that's going to be the haughty one or, uh, or God, you got to do what I say, or I'm going to, I'm in, I'm the one in control. We've got to be individuals that simply says, God, I'm going to walk so humbly that I even now look like you. I walk like you. I act like you. I talk like you. I have, uh, I'm justly, I'm merciful and I'm humble. I believe that that's what God is looking for for you today. I'm challenging each one of you today to be that individual that's going to take the control off of yourself and put the control in Jesus' hands. When we talk about walking humbly, we're talking about giving God the opportunity to be in full control of your life. You know, sometimes we can't be in full control because we're so used to it that we can't give up ourselves to God. But if we're going to walk new, if we're going to have a new beginning, if we're going to be that individual that says, God, I'm putting you first in my life, then that's how we start anew with him. Oh, I want to share this text again with you. And I, I want to share this text again with you simply because I believe it's all about, yep, it's all about putting God first and letting go and let God. This text again, Micah chapter 6, verse 8. O oh man, I have showed thee what I require of thee is to do justly, is to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Right now, I want to pray for each one of you. I want to pray for each one of you that we'll be able to be that individual that can walk humbly with God, that can be the kind of individual that when people see us, they see God. And it's possible. It's possible to have that new beginning and starting with God. There may be something that's pressing on your hearts. There may be something that's pressing in your life that you want prayer for. Today, I want to do that for you. I want to pray for you. And every time you send your prayer request, we send it off to other people to pray. I send it to my mama to pray. Uh, we simply pray over your life. And the very fact that you have written out your prayers is you saying, God, I trust you with this one. Today, I beg of you to walk humbly with God. Will you write down your prayer request right now? Go ahead, write down your prayer request. There are those who have left their prayer requests on fcmbootcamp at gmail.com. If, if you're in the chat room, could you write it down for someone? If you're in our Facebook pages, write it down for someone. fcmbootcamp at gmail.com. Send your prayer request there. Sit it in, set it in your comment wherever you need to do, because we want to pray for you. And then I'm going to ask you this much, that as you pray, recognize that we pray humbly, knowing that God will hear and answer our prayers. Let's get ready now for prayer. each one of you right now we believe that God is the kind of God that still answers prayers somebody to say amen about that so let's bow our heads as we look to him who's the author and finisher of our faith let's pray father again we come before you first of all thanking you for the opportunity of having a new beginning <sighs> sorry we're thanking you for the opportunity of a new beginning we're thanking you for this opportunity that we have, that we can start again with you. As we look and we read some of these prayer requests, we look and know that there's so much of us that needs changing. There's so much of us that needs help. 
there's so much of us that need you in our lives. And you're asking us to walk humbly with you. We ask you now that you will take away our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We're asking you to make us new this very morning. As we look at some of these prayer requests, I recognize, Lord, that we need you more than ever before. Today, Lord, there are those who are praying for temperance and wisdom, those who are praying for their relationships, those who are praying to make them over again with, with you, Lord. There are those who are asking for a closer walk with you. There are those who are asking, Lord, that it, 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 that their relationship with family members would be where it needs to be. There are individuals who are saying, Lord, make me, make me new, make me over again. There are individuals who are praying for their wife and their husband. They're praying for their children. There's, there's some who are going through issues on their jobs. And we're asking you now, Lord, that you will be that kind of God that will help and that will give us this opportunity to uh, give them the opportunity to uh, be Christians on their jobs, be Christians in their schools, be Christians in their communities. There are those right now who are battling illness, sickness. There are those right now who are saying, Father, I, I, I need help right now because I need healing, not only in my physical life, but my spiritual walk. There's someone who's saying that they need healing for a friend. There's some that are saying they're going through uh, their health issues. There's individuals who are talking about being stressed right now. But Lord, we know that you are faithful and you are just and you are able. Today, Lord, we put our hands in your hands. Today, Lord, we start again with you. Today, Lord, we say that we want to walk humbly with you. And we're asking now that as we do this, that you will help us in every possible way. Today, you've given us a mandate to walk with you. You've given us a mandate to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you. And as we're challenged to, today to do this, we ask for a double portion of your Holy Spirit that we'll walk with you and that we'll hear from you. Help us to help others. Help us to be like you. But more than this, Lord, help us to start anew with you. So on this day, we ask for uh, strength and the ability to be the Christians that we need to be, knowing that you're coming in soon. Bless us, we ask. Strengthen us. And as we look at this text again, help us, Lord, to, to, uh, to do justly, to love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Bless us, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we simply ask that God will continue to walk with us, that God will continue to bless us, and that we will continue to walk humbly with him. Before we go, I want you to just do yourself a favor, do this ministry a favor, and we're asking that you will share this with someone. Uh, share this with three to five people. Let them know that they too can walk humbly with God, and they too can have a new beginning. We're asking now, that whatever we do today, that we put God first and let him be in full control of our lives. Because if we're going to have a new beginning, we've got to uh, we got to do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with our God. Be blessed, everybody. And let's walk with him.